Hi, my name is David and welcome to this Filmora 11 vs Camtasia 2022 video where I'll be comparing which video editor exports videos faster. Now, this is to help you make a purchase decision more or less. So if you're interested in checking out either Filmora or Camtasia, check out the links below, affiliate links if you want to purchase. Filmora often has a lot of coupon codes so you can grab on that and it's cheaper than Camtasia. So let's see which video editor is faster when it comes to exporting videos. Now, I have the same project in Camtasia 2022 and in Filmora 11. So this is what it looks like. Just videos laid on the timeline, no transition, no effects, no nothing. So it's a 1920, the project is a 1920 uh, by 1080, the same. Uh, and then when we go to Filmora, this is what we get. Uh, basically the same footage and if we look at this uh, project ratio, whatever, you'll see it's the same. It's a 1920 by 1080. So it's the same identical project. Nothing is different. Uh, so uh, I'll just like us to see how fast each renders. So this is Camtasia. Let's begin. Let's go to export. Local file this is the new option to export in Camtasia 2022. This is the old version. Click on this. And once I click on this, I'll choose a file name or whatever. You can also choose a file type, but we'll go with MP4. That's okay. Uh, let's just call this sample and then click on export. It's going to begin exporting. Let's see how long it takes. Now you'll notice that that's a short video, a 1 minute 38 video, a uh, 38 second video. It's taking quite a long time, but let's see. So it's done. Uh, you can, uh, your media exported successfully. You can close, view media, open file location. Let's open file location. And here's our video. Uh, we can see it here. Uh, it's a huge file, 106 MB, uh, but it's done. So. That's Camtasia. Let us go to Filmora. Let us see if Filmora is faster or Camtasia beats Filmora. So here we go. The timeline is set as uh, we had in uh, Camtasia. Now let's click on export. And from this section, you can choose whatever you want, but I'll leave everything as it is. Now, the only one setting in Filmora that I'll leave on because I have a graphics processing unit or a GPU I'll ensure that uh, the enable GPU accelerating video encoding is available. Now, this helps speed up some of those uh, things that may need uh, maybe the graphics processing unit. But let's see if that makes a difference. Click on export. And it's beginning. Clearly, if you look at this uh, particular uh, progress bar, and it's done. Open folder. So we can hover over this particular video. It's 96 MB. Now, not only is Filmora 11 faster at exporting video, if you're just doing normal video, but it also renders a smaller size video. The other video was about 126 MB. As for the Filmora 11 video, the same video is about 96 MB. So if you're looking to purchase or make a buying decision and you want to be editing videos in Filmora 11 or Camtasia 2022, this sets it apart. And my assumption is that your laptop or your computer has a GPU, then I'll settle for Filmora 11. It's faster at exporting videos, even when we've not even added any particular uh, transitions, effects, etc. That's just a bare bones. Now, the problem I feel Camtasia lags behind when it comes to exporting videos is the fact that it's more or less a CPU based uh, uh, it's, it renders videos more or less or exports videos more or less via the CPU. So uh, although they do have the option to enable GPU, when you go to edit, preferences, advanced, uh, you can see hardware, acceleration, whatever. Unfortunately, even if it's recommended, they rarely use uh, the GPU when rendering. That's a big downside to this. So if you're looking for a faster video, uh, editor that uh, renders videos faster between Filmora 11 and Camtasia 2022, the winner is Filmora 11. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.